got you into rallycross? I guess your father did. I mean, I'm not complaining whatsoever, but I, I don't think I ever really had a choice in it. <laughs> I think um, because my sisters didn't really go into it, I think it was, it was kind of going to be a birthright. Um, I mean, I'm definitely not complaining whatsoever. I love it. It's my favourite thing in the world. But um, I, I don't think I ever had a choice in it anyway. <laughs> and, and in terms of learning, has Dad been a huge help or have you just kind of gone, look, just shut up, leave me alone? Well, this sounds bad, but a bit of both. I think, I think he, was, he was definitely a very good help. Obviously, he taught me how to drive and um, like how to properly drive a car and everything. But it, it was quite funny, actually. A week before my first event, he was out there in the in the field. He was just doing a few little braking things with me, teaching me how to brake. And then my mechanic Graham came in. And he sat in with me, and obviously he'd raced junior, uh, not junior, he'd raced the senior swifts in the past. And it was quite funny because he told me to do the exact opposite of what Dad was teaching me. Dad was teaching me how to brake as if I was driving a supercar, a real wheel drive, when actually Graham was telling me to keep the momentum through the corners, which I definitely was not doing with Dad. <laughs> <laughs> so, how long have you been doing rallycross for now? Oh, uh, two, two years? I, I started when I was 14, so um, I'm 16 now. So about a year and a half, two years. It's, it's been good. I did my first full season last year. I was happy with it, though. Um, I managed to finish just a point off the leader after we drew and he won it on countback. So it was, it was a good attempt to my, for my first full season. And this year, Swifts again? Uh, yeah, Swifts again for the end of this year, and then potentially we might look at some, something different for the next year. Maybe buggies more than likely, and then see us see us how we progress after that. When do you reckon that you will be ready for supercars? Uh, <laughs> well, whenever Dad lets me. <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm open to hopping into one now. I don't have an issue with that, but um, I think I think it's going to take quite a bit to get him out of the supercar. I think I think he's grown a bit of a a bit of a love for that. I don't think he wants to give it up. <laughs> Being son of Ollie O'Donovan, who's got a lot of success. Do you, do you feel any pressure or do you just not really care and you're just going to do your own thing? I mean, for sure, like, it's, it's been pressure in the past. Like, family members or people that know Dad have been like, oh, yeah, you've got a lot to live up to. But I think, I think once the helmet's on, the engine's going. I, I don't think it matters. I, I think I kind of just leave everything that's off the track off the track and just focus what, what the actual target is. Um, but I definitely think the pressure's always been there. I, I try to not notice it whatsoever. I, I imagine if you played rugby or football or something, your dad would be on the sidelines going, bad work, bad work, etc. Does he do the same with rallycross? Um, I, I mean, I mean he, he shouted in the past. Like you, you can see him there like cheering on at the sidelines and everything. But um, no, he, he's, not, he's not too controlling when it comes to that. I think he, he definitely likes to give me my own space and let me try and figure things out on my own. Because um, I think he understands that if he was a bit too harsh and it, it might not be as beneficial towards me. Okay, right. I'll let you get back to your clinic. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you.